The following lessons are things that you can do in PowerPoint and in Word. So you're going to find this video probably both. Um, the first has to do with removing personal information or information you don't want out there before you actually share this file or presentation with other people. So we're going to go to Backstage here. We're going to go to File. And then we're going to inspect the presentation. We're going to use this inspect tool. And uh, <clears throat> it's asking, do you want to inspect all of these things, right? So I want to check for all of these things. And I'm going to go inspect. And then it's, it's going to tell me that my document properties might have some personal information, right? It didn't find any of these, right? So it's going to look for all kinds of personal things, uh, macros as well, that I may or may not want to include in this. So if I decide that I, I don't want that information, in my document properties, if I'm going to share this, I can have them removed. And then here there's some custom data and I can have that removed as well, right? Chances are you'll know exactly what that is. And then when you're done, you just hit close and that's done. You've inspected your document before you pass it on. The other thing you can do is called check for accessibility, which is also in check for issues. And here it's saying check the presentation for content uh, that people with disabilities might find hard to read, right? So it's going to be looking for small fonts, little things, that kind of stuff. So you can you can run this. And it's I just ran it and it told me that there were no issues. However, yours may have issues. So that's how you run the check uh, for accessibility. That's what that's called. Next, we can password protect this document. So if we are sharing this and we don't want people to, well, I'll show you. So back, we're going to go come back here again and we're going to go to protect. Now, um, we can start with mark with final. Mark as final will let the people know that this is read only. So when I mark this as final, it says it was marked as final and then saved. Okay. So now when somebody opens it, they're going to get this. However, um, <laughs> it's not incredibly strong. It's not the same thing as save as read only because here, you're only being discouraged from editing. You got this edit anyway button, which will allow you to go ahead and edit it. So personally, I don't see the value in that, but that's how you do that. If you wanted to save this as read only, I believe that's still an option. You can go save, find a location where you want to save this, go to tools, save options. Um, Maybe not. I'll get back to you on that one. So I guess if you want to save as read only, you'd have to uh, password protect it, which uh, was leads me to my next lesson uh, anyway. So from here, tools, we can go to general options. And here you have the ability to say, you need a password to open this. Um, or you can say you need a password to, to, to modify it. So that would be the same thing as read only in the sense that if I don't live and if I don't give people the password, they can't edit it. They can only look at it. And you can come back. If this is your file, you can come back here anytime and remove this or even change it. So if you're being asked to remove or change a password, you simply come in here and you'll probably have to type it the first time. But that's where you would remove that. The, uh, the other place that you can go to um, to save, uh, uh, to put a password protection in there is by going to options and to save. Uh, nope, not options and save. It's instead going to be right here, password protect. So encrypt with a password. And you can put your password right in here. So now that's been protected with a password. And I believe I just removed that. So once again, I'm sorry if I confused things a little bit. This password requires a password just to open the presentation. 
And if you want more details, if you want to be able to uh, restrict for people from, if you want people to be able to open it, but not necessarily be able to edit it, uh, that's when you have to go to save or save as, let's say. And from here, you would ask for general options. And here, um, you've probably already got that set, right? So if you set it in the other place, it'll automatically come up here, right? So that's the same, but you can also have one to modify. So a little bit more, uh, a few more options here than you do from the backstage view. Okay, here it just requires a password to open it. Sometimes you um, you don't know who's gonna be opening this presentation or on what computer, and it might be old, and so you want the fonts that you use in your presentation uh, or your Word file to be, uh, to be part of that file. So you can actually save this so that it embeds the fonts that you used inside of the file. And you would get that from Options, and in your Save menu here, you have all kinds of things that you can do in here, but if you're being asked to embed fonts in the file, this is where you go, right? And I would I would click embed only the characters used in this presentation. Yes, all right? So now, whatever fonts you use, regardless of the machine being used uh, on, your fonts will look exactly as you had intended. It may also be re re referred to as uh, preserving fidelity when sharing the presentation. Um, not sure what my chances are of remembering that, but embedding fonts is something we've been using for many, many years. It can be done in Word or in PowerPoint. This last thing is uh, only applicable in PowerPoint, and it's about compressing the media. Again, if you're going to be sharing this, you may want to limit the size. Um, you may want your video quality to be a little bit lower, or maybe even your audio quality be a little bit lower. This menu does not show up if your presentation does not have an audio or a video clip. All right, it goes straight to here. So if you do want to compress the media, you'll just come here, and you'll you'll change. You'll just choose the quality that you're looking for, whether you want it to be low or internet or presentation quality. All right, and the same thing with optimized capability. All right, you have um, here it's running a process that I didn't want to run, but if you're asked to do these two things, they're only available to you if you have audio or video in your presentation, um, and this is where you would go to do it. So compress media quality to low um, or to uh, internet quality it would be done backstage here. All right, now it, just to show you, if I remove this one audio clip that I have in my entire presentation and I save this presentation, if I go back to file backstage, you see those two things are gone. It's not even available because it can't. It's just text and pictures. It's not even going to bother trying to compress those things. So, all kinds of interesting stuff. A lot of it happening backstage here.